Okay, so welcome to one of our demonstration sites in uh, Rwanda. Um, in this site we are demonstrating on the alternative way of uh, staking um, climbing beans. As you understand, um, staking is one of the uh, I mean, concerns to farmers. So we are trying to demonstrate on uh, the alternative. And the alternative is uh, simply using um, a few uh, poles on top. You know, we align another uh, pole, but then uh, <coughs> we use ropes uh, to tie to the beans and so that the beans can uh, now climb. Now, the material which is used is um, uh, locally available, and this is the size saw. Uh, so the farmers, you know, we are advocating them, they take this, this part of, um, I mean, the size sheets, and they really have small ropes, just like this. And then you tie it um, to the growing tip of a climbing beans, and you tie it to the to the to the upper pole. That is it. Um, what we need to do also is uh, now to compare um, this uh, tetraploid, uh, which is a common uh, practice here, and uh, the new alternative, and see what would be the economic benefits. We think that uh, this alternative will be cheaper uh, in terms of, you know, these materials are already available. You can just go into the forest and uh, collect this. It's easy to store also, to recycle these poles. You can use this several times. What we are not sure of is, uh, of course, how uh, the beans will respond in terms of, because now it's, this is more upright, and uh, we think that uh, probably it is not intercepting much of the light. So the yield probably could be affected. So we compare it at a later stage with a, you know, a tetraploid whereby the beans you know, captures sunlight, sun energy from I mean, different angles at uh, different times of the day.